In this video, I will tell you about how to access your subscribe course. So to access your subscribe course, open the scholarhead.com. Then go to the right hand side. You will get the login and sign up button. So click over here. Now enter here your username and password to log into the system. So log in here. So when you will log in, you will go to the dashboard. So in the dashboard, we have an option for my courses. So click on the my courses option. And here you will get all the subscribe training which you have purchased from the scholar head. So here you will find out, let's say the SP.NET course certification training. So here inside the all courses option, you will get all the subscribe training from the scholar head. Let's take the example of SP.NET course certification training. So this training material I want to access. So let's take the example of SP.NET course certification training. So this training content I want to access. So click on the button session videos and here we having the videos batch wise. So here every batch having a batch code. So you can filter the live session recording as per the batch code here. So right now we having the latest batch code is DNT447. So when you will join the batch, so please remember the batch code here. So right now let's say I'm filtering the videos for the batch code DNT430. So when you will apply the filter, you will get all the recording of this batch. So from here, you can play the recording of the video. From here, you can download the PPT in the PDF format. You can download the source code. Even you can see when this video has been uploaded. Here it will show you the progress bar as well. How much video you already watch from this session. So just click over here. So this is a video player has been opened. So from here, you can play the video. Even from the same place, you can download the PPT in the PDF format. You can download the source code of the class as well. And after watching the video, you can navigate here and even you can go back to the same screen. The second option we have in the video course here. So video course are the important part in this training program. So we have in the many module we have recorded in the video based format. So you can see we have been the getting started with ASP.NET Core 5. So if you want to get started with the older ASP.NET 5, you can refer this module. Even we have been the module about the link. So when it is coming the entity framework code, you must know the link. So please refer this module of the link so that you have been the complete understanding how to write the query in the entity framework code. Even we have been the video about the AD.NET the video about the unit testing, the video around the ASP.NET Core advanced concept. So when it is coming to learning some extra content, which is also important whenever you are going to work on any ASP.NET Core based application. So everyone has to follow all these video based courses. Then we have in the hands on lab. So we have in the assignment for you so that you will get the confidence to work on the real life. So we have been right now 16 labs. So around each topic, we have designed the lab. If I taking the example, we have been the lab around getting started with ASP.NET Core 6, ASP.NET Core Fundamental, where we have been the lab for routing, custom helper, view data and view back. Let's take, let's open here a lab. I'm just going to open here a lab. Here you will have every lab having a problem statement. So just try to understand the problem statement here and try to understand the prerequisite and try to build the solution yourself. If let's say you're not able to build the solution yourself, so we having a lab solution also. So lab solution you can access from here. So it will open a complete PDF here in the solution format. So follow here the step by step. And one more thing here, whenever you're following the lab, please follow all the steps carefully. Because it's a human being, you might doing the mistake by following the lab steps. If it is still sticking somewhere while doing the labs, you can ask for the help. If at the part of the live training, the live training, we have been the dedicated support. You can ask for the help on the Discord. If you are the part of the self-based training, you can ask for the help on the email. Then from here, you can go back and go back. The next we have in the project section. So we having a online food delivery application, like we having the Domino's, we having the Pizza Hut. So please refer these video-based courses 
to understand how to implement the design patterns, how to use Explorer Net for identity, how to implement authentication, authorization, how to perform the crude operation, how to get the shopping cart, how to take the payment gateway. Everything is mentioned here in the detail. So this is the project tab we have. The next one we have in the practice test. So when it is coming to check the learning progress, so with the help of practice test, you can check your learning progress. So around each topic, we have designed the practice test. Even in many company, when you will go for the interview, they might ask some MCQs. So these MCQs will help you to check your learning progress. Even what are the attempt you have done previously, it will show you the how much score you did, how much question answer you have given. Everything is coming over there. Even you can re-attempt it here. From here, you can start the quiz. Every quiz having a set of questions. So out of 10, this is the first question I'm getting. So from here, you can select one of the question. And here you can navigate to a specific question as well. Then click on the next button here. Keep giving the answer. I'm just checking them randomly. I'm not following the proper answer over there. Just click them like this way. Go to the next answer. And finally, you will get a button to submit the question. So from here, you can submit it. So it is asking for the confirmation. Yes. Here you will get how much marks you have obtained, what is your score, how much time you have taken, and what is the result over there. So I just did the things quickly. That's why it is showing me the result failed. But if you will answer them properly, you will get the past result as well. Then go back. Then we will have an interview question answer tab. So this is the most important tab that everyone must follow. So when it is coming to prepare you for the interview, if you have, if you want to know how to give the answer of a set of question, so module wise, we have recorded the session. We have been the, some question in the text format as well. So please refer them here. So we have been the set of question around the MVC. We have been a set of question around HTML helpers, query operators. So depending upon what training you have subscribed, you will get the access to the interview question answer videos here. Then we have in the certificate time. So after completing the live session recording, after completing the watch of the video based courses, after completing all the hands on lab, you will get the option here to generate the certificate. In my case, it is coming the download certificate because I have already completed the labs. I have already completed the video based courses from the previous batch. So that's why it is giving me the option for downloading the certificate. But in your case, it will get the option for generate certificate when you will complete all the labs, when you will complete all the video based courses. I hope this video will help you to understand how to access your subscribe training program content.